Hello. One of the problems you will face when running Llama Llama 2 is that you will run out of memory, RAM memory, if you are using Google Colab. And another thing you should note that is that when you are trying to use Llama 2, you should use the one uh, that has been modified by Hugging Face. It has got a dash HF at the back. Uh, don't use the one originally given by uh, released by Meta. So that's the first thing. And then, um, so now how do we solve the problem about this uh, running out of RAM memory? So before you can uh, do anything, you first need to get the Lama 2. So to get Lama 2, you need to go to uh, Meta website, Lama 2, and request for permission to use it. So click on Meta, this link here, click on download the model, and then you will have to fill in your first name, last name, email, country, and so on. Agree to the terms, and then click accept and continue. Then it will send you um, an email. So once you receive the email, it will inform you that uh, you can uh, use Lama 2. So next, you need to go to Hugging Face. We are going to use the Lama 2, which is uh, on Hugging Face. It's the same actually, same Lama 2 LLM. So you go to the Hugging Face one, and make sure you create an account Hugging Face has got the same email as the one you provided to Meta when you request for access to Lama, Lama 2. Make sure it's the same email. And then after that, you have to request for permission to, to get access to the model inside Hugging Face. Once you get the access, uh, the permission, you will see this, this uh, message here, you have been granted access to this model. It can take uh, half an hour, one hour, two hours. For me, it took about uh, one to two hours to get access in Hugging Face. So provided you provide the same email that you use when you sign up here, you will get access uh, within one or two hours, as in my case. Once you got the access already, you can op um, use your Google Colab to start uh, importing this. So one example um, that I'm using is this type of uh, code. So you need to install Transformers and then um, from Transformers import pipeline and then this this is where you use the Lama 2. So a Hugging Face has got a few versions so I'm choosing this version 2-7B Jet-HF. Uh, the other thing you need is you need to su supply the authentica authentication token. This you can get by going to your Hugging Face account. Yes, under Paul here. So you go to your to your profile, and then under settings settings you will see uh, access tokens over here. So you just copy the access token, and then put it inside your code like this. Use off token like this. Then you can create your generator, create a pipeline, supply the name here. The name here should match the model uh, provided by Hugging Face, like this. It should match this, so you can copy this one and then paste it inside your code over here and you will get the correct spelling and so on. Then you can try to use this uh, text completion generator to test out. Now make sure that your return sequences is set to 1, not 2, because by default, this Lama 2 uses text return sequences 1. If you run it now, you will find that your, you run out of memory, because by default, your Google Colab has only got 12 gigabytes of RAM. But to run Lama 2 in Google Colab, you need to have uh, 27. For me, I use up 27 gig of RAM to run Lama 2 inside Google Colab. And you can see that uh, I've increased my gig, my RAM to 20, 35 gig. Originally, it was 12 gig only. So if you use the default setting, uh, it will crash. Your Lama 2 will not run. 
so you need to find a way to increase 35 gig so the way the solution that I found came from a helpful uh, YouTube uh, poster called the professor who was very uh, generous and with his knowledge he shared with us the, the, the method of how to increase RAM on Google Colab and he provided this link here he shared his Google Colab uh, workspace so you just open this so what you need to do is copy this 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 thing here the first thing you need to do here is file save a copy in drive when you click file save a copy in drive it will create a copy of this in your drive once you've got a copy of this in your drive you have two tabs here the copy you should just created that's the one you need to use then you can close the old one so once you close the old 1D work on your new one so the new one is for example um, like this so this is the new one yes and here this is where you click um, edit and then here notebook settings make sure you select you select TPU and then click save once you have done that then over here you click connect give it some time to connect and then when you hover your mouse over it you will see that you have 35 gig RAM originally it was 12 gig now you have 35 gig RAM now you're ready to put all this code in here and run so you need to install transformer first once you install the transformer then you can put this code here to create a pipeline and and run your code so I managed to successfully to run this code as you can see it managed to complete the sentence in this course we will teach you how to and uh, Lama 2 was able to complete it teach you how to create a successful online course from start to finish here are some topics we will cover so it's working so that's all for this uh, video thank you for watching